just about to start tonight's dinner and I was going to make chili con carne but I didn't find any of these packet seasonings in Tesco. They only had the very hot one. Um, so I decided to try this instead. This is a taco or fajita mix and it's zingy citrus, garlic and coriander seasoning. So I'm going to make a big one because I always like to give the leftovers to my husband and the boys when they go to work. So I've got two packets of that. I've got two packs of 5% fat pork mince. I've got a orange pepper, a red pepper, one onion, and then I'm going to use one or two tins of tomatoes. I'm not sure. I'll see how like, juicy it is. And also probably a tin of kidney beans. And then I'm going to serve it with some rice and possibly do some toasted corn. I'm not sure. It depends how big this turns out and how much time I've got left. Might do a little bit of toasted corn. We've also got some wraps. So I'm just going to get to chopping this up and frying it all off and then I will show you. So I've added my mince, my peppers, my onions and two seasonings, one tin of tomatoes which I chop up with kitchen scissors. I literally just pop them in and chop, <laughs> chopping motion rather than like trying to cut them up when they're in there. I just find it so much easier. I don't know if I'm going to add kidney beans because it's already looking quite big. Um, but I'm going to let this cook down a little bit. The seasonings smell really nice. They do smell very much just like chili con carne but with a little bit of citrus. Um, hopefully it's not too spicy because four of us like spice and one of us is not so keen. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to let that sit for a little while. I don't think I need both tins of tomatoes either. Otherwise my pan is going to overflow. And then I'm going to boil some rice and sort out the other trimmings and bits and bobs. So I have to doctor pretty much everything. So. <laughs> I've added some tomato puree and some hot chilli powder because to be honest I thought there'd be more flavour it's not actually that strong um, and I don't think I've used more ingredients than it states so yeah maybe maybe a little bit less than what they say on the packet perhaps but a bit of tomato puree, a bit of salt, a bit of chilli powder um, and yeah hopefully it'll be a bit better it's not awful, it's just a bit bland don't know how much it recommends, it says it serves for Right, reckon it says you can add a kilo of pork shoulder per packet. Well, I used 500 grams of pork mince per packet, so I actually use less than what they recommend. But and it says to add orange juice, which I'm not doing. I might add a little splash of lime though, actually. So here we are served up, and this is Steve. So he's got some rice with his. I decided not to do corn, and I did some air fried carrots instead. These are just in some Mexican seasoning. And then we've got our, whatever it is, citrusy chilli kind of thing, a little bit of grated cheese and some spring onions. And then the boys are having wraps with theirs. Steve's having some of this tiger bread that I bought. And then I've got the same, but I'm just having carrots because I'm not a fan of rice. And I've got spring onions and cheese as well. And this is what is for dinner tonight. Not much explanation needed for this one. This was one of the boys' dinners, hence the four chipolatas and two big sausages. But yeah, I just did some homemade wedges in the oven, some baked beans and some sausages. So for tonight's dinner, we have got some of the Mexican grains, just the microwave ones that we bought in, I can't remember if we got them actually, um, just stick them in the microwave for two minutes. And then I've done some roasted veg that I had in the freezer, I'd already prepared them and froze them and then just a few small chicken thighs in the air fryer. They took about 20 minutes on 190 and I've just put some Mexican seasoning on those and that is what is for dinner tonight. So I've just done some of these um, hot and spicy burgers from Tesco, chicken steaks and then I've put them in the fire pit brioche rolls that I've toasted with some mayo and some lettuce. And then the cheese slices, I've got these piri piri flavoured ones, so I've just popped those on top as well. And then a little bit of ketchup in there. And this is what we're having tonight, so I just thought I'd show you. Not tried the piri piri cheese slices, but they look quite good, so yeah. So I've got some cauliflower that I want to use up, so I've just chopped it up, popped it in a pan with some spray oil. There's some smoked paprika on there, some um, red chilli flakes. <laughs> I've also put some onion granules and then I've got this buffalo sauce I'm trying to get open. I've also got this buffalo sauce from Marks and Spencer so I'm just going to pour this over the top and then as I've got the oven on I'm just going to chuck it in the oven and give it probably 35 to 40 minutes till it goes nice and crispy. don't know if we actually want this but um, yeah, I don't want it to go to waste so it's going to go off if I don't use it. So we will eat it when it's cooked rather than let it go to waste, basically. So I did do various things with the roasted cauliflower. I don't know if I filmed any of them, but if I did, 
then I'll pop them in. But this is basically a use up like dinner because I'm running out of everything and I need to go shopping. So I'll put the rest of the cauliflower in here. It's actually been frozen and then defrosted and used up again. So <laughs> I've chucked it in here. I've got some red cabbage, some onions, some tomatoes, some pepper. I'm gonna add a chicken breast. And then I'm just gonna add loads of various spices, maybe a little bit of soy sauce or balsamic vinegar, mix it all together and have like a vegetable and chicken dinner, I guess. But yeah, the cauliflower came out amazingly. The boys took some in their lunches when they went to work. We had some in wraps and yeah, it's just really, really good. And it actually froze fine. I was quite surprised it came out okay. Um, yeah, and you can just crisp it back up in the air fryer or in a dry sort of pan if you need to. So I'll try and show you what this looks like once it's done. So here's my creation served up. We went with like a Mexican theme in the end. I added Mexican seasoning, lime juice, loads of chili flakes, and then I'll put fresh coriander on top because we both absolutely love coriander. And I really, really burnt it as well. It's gone really sticky on the top, but sometimes that just adds to the flavor. And the pan is now soaking in the sink because it's properly burnt on. So I'm gonna add a little bit more lime juice and probably some more chili flakes. And yeah, this is what we're having for dinner. Very colourful and using up pretty much everything that's in the fridge. So as you may have gathered from the start of the video it was our son's 13th birthday and we had actually been out to an indoor inflatable course in the morning. All five of us went and did that which was absolutely great fun and made me feel very unfit at times. But no we had such a good time but this was one of the days where we had so much rain it was unbelievable. So our plan was actually to go out and get some fish and chips and some ice creams and go down the beach but that was definitely cancelled. The weather was absolutely horrific. I think we had more rain on the afternoon than we've had in an entire month so Oscar was really really happy Steve and I just nipped out to the shops and bought a load of party food it literally was a last minute thing we had nothing in we'd only bought the breakfast so we just went and got all those kind of bits and bobs both his nans came over and he brought his games consoles down to the lounge we all spent the afternoon playing games and quizzes and racing games and the older two boys joined in so it was a really lovely day in the end and this was the food that we had so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys.